What are your thoughts on your WWE run? You know, you guys got a tag team title shot against Regal and Tajiri when you debuted, I believe, and you know, you're on a pay per view. What were your thoughts on your run and why didn't why things didn't click and you eventually were released in early two thousand six? We were kinda of given the world early on. I mean, we debuted at MSG next week we're in England, next week after that we're on pay per view. So but we didn't do any house shows. We didn't get any guidance as to, hey, this is what we want from you. You know, this is what we want you to be. Don't do the OVW gimmick. Be, you know, be yourself. Be the way you were before you, you know, you did the gimmick. That wasn't the run envisioned. Uh, I don't think either of us envisioned. I don't think anyone envisioned. The disconnect was that, well, do we be ourselves? Do we do the OVW stick? Do we do... Are we serious? Are we goofy? So many people saying, do this, don't do that, do this. Maybe a few months before we got released, we finally just went up to Vince McMahon and said, what do you want from us? We had some ideas, and that was the best thing we could have done. I wish we had done it sooner. We came up as what they envisioned, which was two Justin Timberlakes, two, two heartthrobs. If we were given the opportunity to let our in-ring work develop as a team, I think we would have been much more successful. And if they went with the OVW, great, crazy, goofy comedy stick, I think we would have been over. Yeah. Uh, I think they probably would have broken us up probably a year or so in like they did with Eminem. But I think our run would have been much more successful. I don't say what ifs or anything, but I think, as I said, if there was, this is what we want you to be, that are kind of being lost and trying to have to figure out, like, well, tonight we're going to be serious, tonight we're going to be goofy, and it just never clicked. Yeah, in very little direction. I mean, we debuted out of, you know, no vignettes. Our strong point was vignettes and talking and character and charisma. And, you know, now you, you debut, you know, you see months of vignettes for Fandango, for the Wyatt family. You know, they stopped doing vignettes. We could have done those vignettes and then done house shows to hammer out the kinks and the details. But instead, <laughs> just hammer it out on Raw or, like, you know, at Vengeance or uh, Backlash. And, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's kind of tough, but hey, that's that's the way it is. When you're in developmental, you know you're going to get the call any time. Fortunately, it's, it's different now. There's a connect between what guys do in NXT and what they will do when and if they get called up. All right, let's talk about NECW's big uh, Bash 13, the 13th anniversary show this Saturday night, 7 p.m. bell time at the Cove Community Center. That's 19 East Corning Street in Beverly, Mass. You are teaming with Slick Wagner Brown to face the uh, team of a former NECW heavyweight champion, Sean Burke, and Canadian sensation Jeremy Prophet. Either of them pins you, the title changes hands. What's the storyline going into this match? I broke Sean into the business. I trained Sean, and um, I continued to to help him out. He injured himself uh, in a match we had in December. And he broke his ankle, and he felt that you know that I did it on purpose because I was jealous of him. <laughs> the old story of former friends, former training partners, teacher versus student, teacher versus mentor, doing battle, and it's kind of the same thing with Wagner and, and Jeremy Prophet. So we each have our issues with with each guy, we're going to settle those on Saturday. If you're in the area, you need to come out to this show. You know, check them out on NECW TV as well. You can go to the website, NECW.TV, all the information on there, and on Channel 62 in Boston on Thursday nights at midnight, um, NECW TV, and on YouTube once the, the original airing is over. So this is your chance to get up close, and personal with them, uh, see them literally a few feet away from you in some of the best wrestling anywhere. All right, we end our special YouTube clip there. You can find out all about PWTorch.com and the PW Torch VIP website by going to PWTorch.com slash go VIP. We also have a free phone app. Just search PW Torch and download it. It is free, and it will keep you up to date on all the news that's happening in the world of professional wrestling like nobody else does. Uh, we update constantly with new news features, analysis, uh, interview excerpts, exclusive columns, uh, many other exclusive features, and flashbacks. If you are a pro wrestling fan, you should be visiting 
pwtorch.com every day and bookmarking the site and downloading our free app. We are on not just iPhone and iPad and Android devices, but also Windows Phone devices, the Amazon Kindle Fire. We are in their app store. And if you have a newer Samsung TV or DVD player with smart TV functionality, do a search for PW Torch. We are an app in the Samsung Smart TV App Store. So the PW Torch brand reaches more wrestling fans every day than any other independent source of news and information and commentary on pro wrestling. And we thank you for checking out our YouTube clip. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And uh, please visit PWTorch.com and listen to the livecast at PWTorchLivecast.com.